Hello there. Happy New Year to everyone and may it be a fruitful one on personal development. I've been giving personal development quite a bit of thought over the period between Christmas and New Year's Day. I had a bit of time to myself and I found that just doing nothing and considering the year that has passed and opportunities for the next year brought to mind that I've been talking a lot about things that we do in general in conscious sensuality, but I didn't really address anything that would help me personally and by extension would also potentially be helpful to you. After much consideration, I came up with the idea to do challenges every month that not only would guide me in the right direction, but also give you something to think about and potentially follow alongside me. Those challenges will not be super difficult. They will be things that you can do mostly in your daily routine that would fit easily, but will change one little thing or one certain approach during that time that will have an effect on how you engage with other people, on how you engage with yourself. And the challenge that I've chosen for January and started on the 1st of January is to look people in the eyes more extensively. I found that when I'm talking to people, I'm easily distracted. I look at things happening in the surroundings and only occasionally come back to my conversation partner. And even so, I tend to close my eyes or look down on my cup of tea or something like this. So my challenge for this month is to not do that, to keep eye contact as long as is comfortable for both sides. That obviously depends on how close we are to each other, how close we are emotionally, how long we have known each other, what kind of talk we're having. But ultimately, the challenge for me is to keep the gaze with that person and see how it goes. And that doesn't necessarily just mean people I'm sitting down with and having a cup of coffee with, but also people whose eyes I cross in the street or in the supermarket. Just keep the gaze a little bit longer than I would otherwise do. We've talked about eye gazing in tantric exercises in a way that is very similar because it creates more contact with the person I'm engaging with. I'm looking forward to doing this for four weeks and I'll report back with my findings and my own experience when I announce the next challenge to you. For the time being, if you're interested in following along, by all means, leave a comment down below and keep us updated how it works for you. Be well and stay well and come back for more.